Hello Earth Science class. Today we're going to go over how to read a triple beam balance. So, <clears throat> some of you in our soccer lab got to read our double beam balances. Others use the electronic scales. So we're going to take a second just to go over how to read a balance when it has one, two, three beams. Step one. We want to make sure that we look at all three measurements. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. We actually want to start with the middle measurement. Why? Because this has the biggest numbers. It goes from 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 grams. That's what the G stands for. So I want to start with that. For number one that we're looking at on our Google uh, Classroom document, it says that this is reading where the arrow is pointing 500 grams. All right, so we know that this first beam is 500 and something grams. Now we have to skip and go up one and read the top beam. So this one we want to read second. Why do we want to read it second? Well, the middle beam read in 100s. The top beam is now reading in 10s. We want to save the bottom beam for last because it's the smallest numbers. It's just going by ones. So, top or uh, first beam read 500, top beam do, 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 do. Zero. All right. So you now it's 500, maybe still something grams, but it's not reading anything on that top beam. So you don't have to worry about it. Now let's go to our last beam. It looks like we're not quite to that one mark because here's our little arrow. But our little arrow is one, two, three, four, five lines over, right in the middle of zero and one. That tells me that that is reading at, right it below, 0 0.5, again, grams. So now all we have to do is add. We know we have 500 grams plus 0 0.5 grams, and that would give us our answer of 500.5 grams. All right, that one was pretty easy. Let's try the next one. For our next beam, again, we want to start with the middle. It looks like this one's reading at, here's our arrow, 100. So we know that we have 100 and something grams for this scale. Now let's go to our second beam. You know what, I might just write 100 down here so that I remember. Add my plus in case I have to add anything. Second beam, going by the tens my arrow 50 so I'm gonna add this so now I have 100 plus 50 if I want to I could do that math right away so I don't forget but we still have that third beam left so we might have to add one more number let's take a look Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, not quite nine. Looks like it's eight point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You may have noticed, but this third line reminds me of a ruler, just like how we would measure in centimeters. Because we see the big number eight, so we know that that's eight. But then we have all the little numbers in between, just like on our ruler. So those are our points, right? Because we do 8.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0 0.5. That's our middle. 
0.6 and this is going to be 0.7. I like to think of it as like a ruler so I don't get confused and accidentally put 150 plus 0.8. These big numbers are still whole numbers. They're not our points yet. Our points are the little numbers, or the little lines, just like on a ruler. So 150 plus 8.7 is going to give me my answers of 158.7. Don't forget your grams. All right, number three. Start with our middle beam. We're looking at oh, zero for the middle. All right, just getting smaller and smaller. Start with our top beam. And it looks like the top beam is reading at, there's my arrow, 10. So I'm gonna add my 10. Remember, I didn't add anything before that because remember the first beam was zero that we read. If you want, you can still put zero just to remind yourself. And that last beam, our ruler beam, zero, one, two, three, oh, just past the three. So remember that's a whole number. Now let's read our little lines, 3.1, 0.2. Now I can add up my numbers, 10 plus 3.2 is 13.2 grams. All right, last one, yes. Read our middle beam. Find the arrow, there it is, 400, write that down, plus top beam, by my tens, arrow, 60, all right, plus third beam, er, whoa, so this looks like it's between zero <coughs> excuse me, and one. Really close to that zero mark. I would say, to me, that looks like it's on the first line, very first line. So, zero, because that's my whole number. We didn't quite get to one yet. Point, it's like on a ruler, we're on the first little line, one. Now, I can do my math. 400 plus 60, plus 0.1 is 460.1.